the developing footballers listening in, um, what are some other key areas of, of focus for, for a developing footballer? I know it's a broad question, but um, what are some key takeaways that you think yeah, are important um, for, for young footballers? I think the two most important things are um, resilience and skill, and not necessarily in that order. Um, so if, if we're talking develop, developing AFL footballers, um, skill is king. It always will be, no matter what um, people like me say, um, your ability to kick um, in particular and to, to work below your knees will always be king. So, um, uh, yeah, that I, I have to say that, and that's, that's the absolute truth. Um, but developing your body to be resilient to the demands of the sport is um, absolutely crucial. And everybody probably who's listening into this knows people who uh, haven't made it because they've been injured or been a bit lazy or uh, those sorts of things. So on the note that you said that lateral ability and ability to get out of um, awkward situations. So the, the, the small side of games is something that you're famous for. Um, but w- and you, it sounds like you got from that early role with, with Parramatta was something where you sure. developed that skill set. Um, how, did, how did it go when you implemented that into AFL footy? Yeah, it's something we did early days pretty early with, with Port Adelaide that, that maybe wasn't being, doing, wasn't being used much and I, I literally stole it straight from soccer. Um, the, the question that was asked heavily and is still being asked um, is, oh, but it doesn't look like exactly like footy. Like we don't want to necessarily put that handball over the top or we don't want to necessarily have our players do that movement or that movement. Um, but what I've found is um, without question, um, the different versions of small sided games that you can implement into footy um, just help players get out of traffic so easily, in my opinion. Um, and there's a, I know a couple of soccer players um, on this call and people who work overseas on this call, the agility and lateral movement of even average league soccer players um, is so much better um, and sharper than some of the best AFL players because we're so used to working in straight lines in AFL. And of those three, like the intensity on the pitch and, and curiosity in the, in the inner drive, in your experience, how much of it is trainable? How much can you change? Yeah, it's a million-dollar question. I think, uh, I think the curiosity can come a bit later. Um, initially, it might not be there because you're just young and do whatever you're told. Um, so that can come. The intensity on the pitch can come, but the inner drive is probably developed through early childhood through whatever parents, genetics, um, can be trauma in childhood. Um, you know, those sorts of things give that inner drive it's pretty hard to implant that someone that's just my opinion and this one's from an s and c uh, how can i be more desirable s and c coach after i graduate they're in their final year i reckon you might answer this uh, early on what we were talking about earlier in yeah. yeah yeah coaching your own team um uh i'm interviewing at the moment for for a position within the club and um it's a it's a phd position so academic component but we- what I looked for in the many applicants that we got was who's coached, who's coached their own team. And we had one who made the final three who's coached a high school team, and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, coach your own team as well as getting the qualifications. This one is from a football player. What exercises should be good to do a day before a game? Stretching, activation, weights. It's a bit of a yeah, pre-game routine. Yeah, so day before a game, I, I like players to actually get out and move and move fast. Um, so, um, you know, the day before any sort of game uh, to get some intensity, um, and I think that's more neurally than, than, than physically, I guess, um, or structurally, I should say. Um, so uh, include some sprint work, include some plyometric sort of bounding work. If you are doing gym work, make it fast movements, um, just to almost wake the body up and let the body know, hey, we're going into battle tomorrow. So um, certainly whatever skill component you feel like you need to work on. Um, For me, it's about making players feel good, not necessarily a lot of tactics, um, short, sharp session with speed and, and power.